It once happened, a certain yogi, too full of himself, came and saw Shiva simply sitting there. And he looked at him and tried to provoke him. Shiva did not respond, simply sitting there. So he provoked him with abuse. Shiva did not respond. Then he physically poked him and said, you're simply sitting there because you're afraid of me. You do not know what I know. You do not have the powers that I have. This went beyond point of irritation. So Shiva plucked a hair from his head and made a demon out of it. And he told the demon, eat this yogi, eat him up, he should not be walking this planet. The demon grew up within minutes and became huge and started chasing the yogi. Yogi was terrified. Then of course he came and fell at Shiva's feet and, please save me, don't let this demon eat me. Then Shiva immediately changed his mind and said, okay, just leave him, let him go. Then the yogi went away terrified. Then the demon was standing there, burning with hunger because he was created just to eat. So he said, what am I supposed to do? Now you release that yogi, what am I supposed to do? Shiva was already becoming still, he said, ah, you eat yourself. And then, before Shiva could turn around and look at him, he started eating himself up. When he looked at him, everything of his body was gone, only his face and two arms were left. So he looked at this, how quickly you eat yourself up, you are the most glorious face, only face is left, you are the most glorious face. You are above all gods. It is from this that even today, in almost every Indian temple, there is a face which is eating up its own arms, which is called as the Kirti Mukha, the glorious face. So Shiva recognized, or the yogi recognized that one who eats himself up, that who makes nothing out of himself, is the most glorious face on this planet. He must be above all the gods. This is a night that you must promise me that you will become a glorious face. Still hands are there, you've not eaten them, you can tell me. This is not a night to make something out of yourself. This is a night to make nothing out of yourself so that you become a truly glorious face because you do not carry the burden of the person that you are, you do not carry this life as a burden. Mahashivaratri means this is a night where you must eat yourself up and become a Kirtimukha or a glorious face so that you will be above all gods.